Hello everyone and welcome to this reading about the number 444. So let's hop right in and see what Spirit wants to say about this number. Okay. Four cards, very fitting. <laughs> let's see. Ooh, the Magician. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. All right. I got this feeling when I pulled the Magician, but I just wanted to see what the other cards wanted to say first. But um, this number is all about how you manifest things and how you create in this world. And that obviously number four is all about stability, building a foundation. You know, if you think of a square with four sides, that is a pretty solid foundation, right? It's equal, it's stable. And that metaphor with the number four is present here too. It's understanding your power, understanding your mind, understanding what hurts you, what holds you back. And then building, understanding how you build things in this life, whether it's good or it's bad, I just want to say, because what you think about, that creates your reality very literally. So if you feel like you can't achieve anything, you're hurt, you're broken down, you're stuck in a victim mentality, you're going to get a life that reflects that to you. Whereas if you understand the power that you have, you change your thoughts to help you bring in a reality that you're really proud of and that you want. Yeah, that's going to happen too. It really all comes down to the way that you think and the actions that you take. And the number four is a really great number to help you with stability and foundations. And four, 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 because three is a very magical number. It's a spiritual number, a number of building as well. So you have that like two times with 444. It's like really about building in the material world. Love this. It all comes down to what you think, what you believe, what you feel, and what you want to see in the world, in your world. Ooh, yes, you see? We have this Mercury and Taurus with resistance. So if you have resistance, it creates resistance in your life. It creates blocks in your life. It creates a barrier for things to manifest. And if you keep thinking thoughts of resistance over and over again, thoughts that block whatever you're trying to manifest, that's going to come true instead. Taurus is a very stable, grounded sign. And what I'm feeling with this is if you are persistent with your negative or resistant thoughts, that's going to create your life. It's a very simple yet difficult <laughs> thing to understand because in theory it's very easy to understand, but in practice very difficult to get your mind to be harmonious with you and what you want and what we have here oh we have saturn in gemini with concentration and we have this web here again i'm feeling if you are hyper focused or concentrating on your heartbreaks your losses your flaws everything that's wrong you're going to create that. But then again, if you can concentrate on building something truly magnificent, you can create that as well. I really love this message for 444. Just going to get another card there and see what else Spirit wants to say. It took a little while for that card to come out and I feel it was really talking about how with the number four, it's all about slow and steady and patience. It's not something that builds quickly, flippantly, nothing like that. 
it is slow, steady, a true foundation, very Knight of Pentacles kind of vibe. We have House 4, Cultural and Family Roots, Home, Peace and Comfort. Well, isn't that gorgeous? So we have 2, 3, 4 as well, which is just emphasising the need for methodical steps to create a solid foundation with the number 4. But of course, we have the number 4 again. Yes, building a home, family roots, really knowing and understanding who you are, your heritage, what you're here to do. What makes you happy and healthy in our society? The number four really helps with all of this. Yes, making a nest. There's the potential with the number four to really make something that makes you feel like you're at home. But as I say, it's a potential. If you can't get your thoughts in order, if you're concentrating on the wrong things, if you're resisting healing and growth it's going to be difficult to manifest a, a good life it is so you can call on the number four ask for its guidance look up things to help you with that learn more about house four look into numerology you can utilize this number to help you be more stable take on its energy it might sound a little bit abstract for some of you but that truly is the case. And you just need to ask spirit about it and to guide you. And you'll be led to everything you need to know. Truly, spirit is here for everything. Is there anything else? Yes, I'm feeling just, it's so much about stability and grounding. But the emphasis is it can go either way. It can be your ultimate dream and happiness or it can be your absolute worst nightmare. You know, energy doesn't discriminate. The universe doesn't know when you want something and when you don't. If you're focusing on it, it's it's coming true for you. Because that's just how the universe works. So if you can change your thought processes into whatever makes you feel like home. Whatever makes you really feel safe, satisfied all of that good stuff, you can absolutely achieve it with the help of the number four and with these basic principles that 444 has brought forward today. So I really, really love this message. It was like understanding and guidance all wrapped up in one, which is absolutely fantastic. So I really hope this helped. I hope you can put this into practice and bring forth a really gorgeous life for yourself. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you next time.